Around Kansas, brought to you by Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. Go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. And we're back again. <laughs> Our ghost went to uh, somewhere to get us some pumpkin latte this morning. <laughs> oh, I love it. I yeah, love it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and not only that, but we kind of freaked out because we heard some murmurings and then figured out that's oh, the guys upstairs. They were talking this morning. <laughs> so, anyway, this is our Halloween show, and I hope you're uh, enjoying our silliness this morning. We we have a good time here anyway. <laughs> so, you know, I. Uh, um have done a couple of ghost investigations with my good friend Beth uh, Meyer. She used to have a ghost investigation business and has written a couple of books on haunted Kansas, so so look up her stuff. Beth invited me to an investigation in Old Constitution Hall one time, mm -hmm. and it was when she first got into the business, and um, so we're sitting down there in the dirt in Constitution Hall <laughs> on Kansas Avenue, and actually have a I had a conversation with Franklin Crane. It was really interesting. He's been dead for I don't know at least a hundred years, so it it was it was really really interesting. So a lot of people are into that, and of course the town that has the biggest reputation in Kansas is Atchison. So have you ever been up to do one of their haunted tours? I have not, but I I have heard they are quite spectacular. I haven't either, and and I so that's on my list, and I've got. Uh, um, I know that they've been on TV. I've seen some of the documentaries or some of the ghost specials, you know, about Atchison. So lots of really interesting things up there. And they have really capitalized on their ghost population <laughs> uh, for tourism. So let's take a closer look. Browsing through old newspapers can turn up some pretty interesting stories, especially appropriate for this time of year. Atchison, Kansas has capitalized on its ghostly inhabitants and its haunted tours are sellouts around Halloween. Thousands of people flock to the city hoping to catch a glimpse of a real ghost. The Chamber of Commerce won't guarantee that spirits show up on every tour, but just maybe. Perhaps the most famous haunted site, the Sally House, has been the subject of television, movies, and a documentary. Stories like this one, from more than a hundred years ago, may have helped build the city's haunted reputation. A man had lately died, the paper reported, and strange noises began to fill the house. Neighbors were sitting with the dead man's family in a half-basement room off the kitchen. A stairway led from this room. Suddenly, strange noises were heard coming from upstairs, from the room in which the man had died. There was a noise on the stairway, a noise of some object bumping from one side to another and descending, then the door opened, and a man's head rolled into the room. The people sitting in the room fled in terror and cannot give much of a description of the head. Not surprisingly, the family stayed with neighbors and refused to go back into the house. The article concluded by saying, Last night, four stout young men, armed, stayed in the house, intending to set up all night. We have not found a follow-up report. Perhaps those stout young men from a hundred years ago are still there, waiting for a head to roll down the stairs. Well, happy Halloween, everybody. Happy hauntings. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm Frank. I'm Deb. And we'll see you somewhere around Kansas. Closed captioning brought to you by Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff Progress, powered by Kansas Farmers. Let me tell you, Kansas is more than tornadoes. We're the best.